Welcome to HHCA's Senior Celebration. We have a long-standing tradition where the night before graduation, we allow each of our seniors to come on stage in this very stage in which I'm sitting on and share from their heart about their time at HHCA. And the whole point of that time is to thank those who have poured into their life, to give special honor to those who have impacted them. And this evening, although we can't be at the school doing it like we normally would, we thought this would be an amazing way to come together in our cars, watching this together. Enjoy the time as we celebrate these seniors tonight. I'm thankful for my mom and dad for their unconditional love and support, not just through my high school years, but through my entire life. They've always been there for me and have helped me in every step of my life. My siblings have paid, played a big role. They have made me laugh. They've been, we've been close the whole time I've been at our school and having them here with me has been something special that I get to see them in the hallways and I got to be around them all the time. I'd like to thank my grandparents for always being there at every sporting event or every play or whatever I was in, they were always there, especially my grandma Mimi was always there for me. And then my best friend Scarlett has been the funniest person I've ever met and has made every day so exciting and I loved going through high school with her. I'd also like to thank my aunt and uncle who have been my neighbors but have also been such supportive people and have always been there for me and I've had such fun, we've had such fun trips together throughout my high school years and they've been such loving people to be around. Okay, so my entire time at HHCA, my neighbors have been here with me, my cousins have been here with me, my siblings have, so I've had my entire family around me which has made it a really special experience to constantly be surrounded by people who I love and it's not just me, I have everyone with me, which has been really neat. Also, a trip to Jamaica with Life on Life was something I'll always remember. It's such a unique experience that when I tell people, they're always so surprised that our school offered that, which I think is really cool. So. I think right now, what I'm gonna miss is being so close to like all my friends. Like If I wanna hang out with them, I can immediately do that. But as soon as I leave, it's gonna be harder. I'm gonna be here for holidays or whatever, so I'm gonna miss them, which is gonna be different. But I'm also gonna miss like just being home, like the normalcy of it, which is, but I'm sure I'll have fun. But those are some big aspects. Seeing people I love every day, coming to school here and being surrounded by my favorite people. Um, first, I'd like to thank my mom. I could sit here for hours and talk about all the great things about my mom and you still wouldn't understand my depth of thankfulness and love that I have for my mom. Um, she inspires me every day and has taught me to work hard and to stay motivated um, in everything that I do. And Next, I'd like to thank my dad. Um, my dad has supported me all throughout my life and has always been there for me. Um, he's taught me to just live life to the fullest and to seize every dream and opportunity that I have. And I'm just so thankful for his love and support all throughout my high school experience and life experience. Um, next, I'd like to thank my Grammy and Papa. Uh, my grandparents are truly the best grandparents in the entire world. And if you know them, you are not going to try to debate me on that because they love me and my siblings more than anything in this entire world um, and they've been there for me in the darkest of times and have truly shown me the happiest days of my entire life. Um, I'd also like to thank my siblings Sydney, Kent and Ava. They have become my best friends through the, my high school career and they're truly what I'm going to miss most about leaving in August. Just having them right down the hall to talk to or to hang out with. 
Um, and then lastly, I have to thank my best friend, Gracie. She has been there for me since fourth grade, and without her, my life would truly be very boring and very terrible. So, um, can't wait for USC next year with Gracie. There are a lot of things that I'll miss next year, not living on Hilton Head Island or going to Hilton Head Christian Academy. I've been doing it for 13 years now, since kindergarten. So, just the idea of this not being my life and it changing next year just seems so crazy to me because I just honestly never thought it would end. But I'm now realizing that it does actually end. And the things that I definitely am going to look back and remember the most are just like the normal days going to school, just the teachers and the people that I get to see every single day. I, I took for granted being able to see um, truly the most impactful people in my life every single day. Um, so just like class, honestly, I'll miss. I'll miss skipping class and going to class. Um, I'll just miss having lunch with my friends at school and chapel and just like the little things that you do every single day that really made an impact now looking back. Um, so just the typical high school moments I'll miss the most. So I guess if you are in high school still right now, just take every single high school memory and moment and event and just experience it. Like go to every football game, go to every high school event that you can possibly think of because right now I'm looking back and high school truly did end way too early. Definitely my mom, my grandparents, and um, my uncle who have all supported me. Um, and coming back to Christian Academy when I left and uh, with sports and life through everything that I've done. And um, with the school, probably when I first came here, um, probably my third grade teachers, Ms. Richardson and Ms. Buck, were probably my uh, biggest impact. And then when I came back, um, I'd probably have to say Coach Conroy, Coach Peduzzi, Ms. Johns, and um, that's, that's pretty much it because they've always wanted to talk and um, always checking on me, so I appreciate them for that. Uh, probably our favorite moment was, I think it was my 10th grade year, no, 11th grade year, Courtney locked him in the um, closet <laughs> and we were like, it was for warm-ups and we were just like, just like, she was like, should I do it? And everybody was like, okay. And so, we all knew we were gonna have a price to pay for that, but, but, and we ended up like running off practice, but it, it was worth it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna miss how, um, it's like very close, like almost everyone knows your business, so it's like, I'm, I'm di like in college, everybody's not gonna know that or check on you and all of that. So I'll probably miss that and um, my friends. Um, I've made some friends over the years and, uh, I'm not going to college with any of them, so it's going to be different. So I'm going to have to make new friends and everybody and everything. So it's going to be different, but um, I'm thankful for all of that. Well, I'm thankful for Mr. Abbott because he helped me um, develop my math skills throughout my junior and senior year. I'm thankful for Mr. Sutter for always giving me a place to talk about sports. I'm thankful for uh, my parents who have helped me throughout this whole journey. And I'm thankful for my friends and other distant relatives that have helped me get through school. The, uh, I don't know what the word for it is, what I'm looking for is, but like, calmness in a sense. Well, just like, you know, pretty much like everything that we did here from sports and talking football, Coach Peduzzi, to classes with Mr. Abbott and Mr. Smith, to seeing my friends every day in the halls.
I'd want to thank my mom for switching me to HHCA as I went to May River before because it allowed me to strengthen my faith through um, a Christian school <laughs> and really develop my character through Jesus. And I'd like to thank teachers especially, ooh, there's, I mean all teachers of course, but especially Mrs. Smith as I've been her TA for two years. And she gave me this coloring book and I've used it like every night. <laughs> and she really helped me create bonds with um, students and with teachers that I'll never forget. My senior retreat, Mr. Southerth was doing these games and then there was like, oh, like, do a topic, we'll give you a topic and you gotta talk about it, not stutter, no ums, for no filler words for a whole like minute. And so I get up there and I'm like, oh yeah, I, I can do this, whatever, it's easy. And he tells me to talk about the economy, which I know nothing about. So I just kind of turned it into a little speech and I was like, oh yeah, we're all taxpayers. And I somehow turned it into women empowerment and I have no idea how I did that, but it made everyone laugh and it was really great. Well, I'll be a little landlocked because Mississippi State is six hours from the ocean, so I'll definitely miss the ability just to go on the boat and enjoy the climate and atmosphere here. And I'll also miss, you know, almost being late to school every day grabbing Starbucks. The first people I'm thankful for are definitely my parents because they've supported me through everything and they always want to see me do good and be able to do my best. Um, I definitely thank Miss Davis and Mr. Langhouse because through everything they always make me feel cared for and like I have someone there for me. And then the last person who I think is really special is Miss Higgs because out of the four years at Christian Academy I've had two of them where I go straight through the lobby every morning to go to class and like seeing her first thing with her smile and her warm attitude just like really means a lot and it starts your day off really well. And even if I'm having a bad day, I can go down and talk to her and she automatically makes it so much better. I think I'm definitely gonna miss playing basketball. Like being on the court was always special for me. I got to play with a great group of girls and my best friend Jasmine and Coach Conroy, he, he toughens you up, but he definitely made a big impact on me and, taught me how to keep working and to never give up and I think that I'll definitely take that with me because that's a really big thing. I was running down the court and didn't know the pass was going to me so I wasn't really used to getting passed to because I think it was my first or second year on the team and so the pass came to me and I ducked. <laughs> definitely the two state championships we won. I mean the last one was super meaningful because like I said great group of girls to be with my best friend like I've watched her work through a lot like she tore her ACL and she had to work back and build herself back up and it meant a lot to me that she got that her senior year because she means the world to me and I always support her and want her to like strive and so I think it was really awesome that I got to see her do that for herself and the team. Well, first, I would say I would be thankful for my mom because like ever since elementary school, well, ever since before I even started school, it's only been her because my dad passed away when I was three. So when I first started school, it was always her and I was the troubled child, the, the typical knuckle headed boy. So like she was always having to be there for me to like keep me focused and keep me going throughout all of my school career, I guess. And then secondly, I would thank my aunt because she's my second mom. Uh, she was my brother's, well, she was my father's sister. And uh, she's just like kind of like filled in that role of like taking his place and like being on top of me and being that like all their driving force in my life. Uh, I would just say art is just like a way to express myself because I'm like usually not like the outgoing kind of person to just talk to you. So like I feel as though like my dance and my singing is just like another way that I can express myself without having to necessarily tell you exactly how I feel but you just get the gist of what's going on with how I'm living my life. Uh, so I would I would just say that like uh, my biggest achievement that I felt like that I would always remember is like uh, my ballroom dance my first ballroom dance competition yeah like we went in going like thinking that like we wouldn't do too well we were in 40 different heats if I remember correctly 
and we got first place 38 of those times and then we got the other two second place so that was a nice little I guess confidence booster for going into the next competition and like showing us that like we should take this more seriously I guess and like actually work. So um, first off I want to thank my mom and my grandma and Nana. They, um, they come to support me through everything even though they live like 45 minutes away to an hour away. They come and support all my games, everything that I have to do at school. They don't miss a single game so very thankful for them. I'm very thankful for my father and Miss Judy. They've always been there to support me and they've always like just helped me through anything and they've always just been there for me and um, very thankful to have them in my life and I'm very thankful that like they're going to be there to support me through whatever I do next. And then the last person I want to thank is my Uncle Chuck. I couldn't be here without him. He's a major, like, he's a major like factor in my support. Yeah, I'm very thankful that he can like may be able to like come down here even though he lives in Boston and has like a bunch of stuff to do, like his work and he just makes time for me and I'm very thankful for that and I'm excited to see what happens next. Definitely the um, this year, the last game in football against Prep is probably one of the most fun games ever, honestly. Um, all of us got to like participate, all of us got to have a big play, and it was just a lot of fun, and I'm going to miss football a lot. I, you know, I'm going to first start off by thanking the HHA family just for um, the past, <laughs> I've been here since eighth grade, so just my, my years that I've been here. Um, it's been great, and uh, I just want to thank all of them, first of all. I want to thank all the teachers and coaches who've been with me and who have uh, just either coached or taught me. Um, I want to thank um, Mr. Smith, um, Mr. Matt Smith, him personally, because uh, I feel like he's always a person who, he's always, you know, just checking up on me. He's always... Um, just sending me text, making sure I'm okay. And I also want to thank Mr. Curtis, because uh, I know he's a person who I can also um, look to for any advice, whether it's good or bad. And he'll give me uh, the godly advice with like a, with a story from his past. And I think that's always uh, just fun to know that I have, you know, those kind of people in my life who care uh, deeply about me. And then I'm going to thank uh, my siblings, uh, all my siblings, uh, Nyla, Benjamin, Langston. and I want to say thank you to them because I know it's not the easiest when your brother plays, you know, uh, three sports and then um, I play also in the summer. So I know it's not the easiest and I think uh, you guys make a big sacrifice, um, whether it's coming to all my games or just uh, not spending time with your friends to come to my games. I think that's hard for you guys, but 
I just love you guys for that. And uh, I want you guys to know that I do it for you guys and because I want you to be better people than I am. So, And I want to thank um, my mom and dad also. Um, I want to say a uh, thank you to them. Um, I'll start with my dad. Thank you, dad, for just being a great role model in my life and always being there for me. I know I can talk to you um, whenever. Uh, thank you for all the workouts together, all the runs together, all the drills we do. Um, then I'll say thank you to my mom. Um, just thank you, mom, for always being there. Be my biggest fan. I love you for life. Um, I'm going to miss your cooking. I'm going to miss just your laughs uh, that I have with you, all the jokes I make with you. Um, but I know that you'll always be there for me. You're always one call away. And, uh, and lastly, I want to thank my brother Cameron, my oldest brother. I know I don't see you much because you're in the Army, but <laughs> um, I know that if you were here, you'd be telling me great job. I know you sent me texts, but I know if you were here, you'd be telling me great job. And I love you a lot, and thank you for being the best brother ever. As a class, I think I'm going to remember probably our senior retreat this year, um, our first retreat together. You know, I think we came into knowing that the first night we spent together, just the seniors, I think, you know, we knew it was a vegan camp. And I think us just coming together and um, just coming together and having a big cookout, I think that just brought our class really close together. And I think that's a memory that I remember forever because I think, you know, um, just us having the food there and us just talking and having fun, I think that was just beyond one of the best memories I've ever had with you guys. I guess the, the first person or people I'd really like to thank are my parents. Um, they've had a huge impact on making me into the person that I am today and setting my, my morals and my foundations and my work ethic. And I'd just like to thank them for always being there for me in the good and the bad times and helping me through everything that I've had, that I've had to do or go through. And just always being there and always supporting me regardless of the situation or if I messed up or if I did well, they were always there with the same support and the same smile and love. So I, I'd like to thank um, a Mr. Curtis. I think he, he mentored me in my, in my eighth grade year. He was a teacher of mine in my sixth grade year. And throughout all of this, he's always done a really good job of making me know that, that he's there for me and that he's always thinking about me and always trying to help me throughout anything, even if I'm not asking for his help. Um, I'd also like, in the same way, like to thank Matt Smith, or Mr. Smith, for, for the same thing. I mean, he mentored me my freshman or sophomore year, and always checking in with me, always making sure that I'm good, and he also would banter with me on sports and everything, and it was just a really good relationship to have at school. Um, I'd also like to thank uh, Miss McElroy or Mrs. McElroy for um, really broadening my horizons. Uh, when I moved here, I'd never considered theater or music or anything. And with Miss McElroy or Mrs. McElroy coming and introducing me really to theater and trying to get me to do it, it changed my entire character. I'd have to say, like something I'm glad I did. I mean, I'm glad I did sports, but I'm, I've always done sports. I mean, it's like, it's a very common thing for someone who's moderately athletic to just play sports and, and do that through high school or middle school or whatever it is. So I'm, I'm thankful I did that, but I think I'm probably most thankful for starting to do music and theater because it's completely changed my character as a whole. Um, I, I would not be nearly who I am today without have broadening my horizons to do. I really want to thank Coach Peduzzi for, for everything that he's done for me, from football to my character. He's always been there to watch out for me, and he's really helped shape the person that I've become. He's, um, he's had a huge impact on my life, bigger than I think he will, will know. I'm really going to miss um, high school football, just varsity football and playing on Friday nights. So, I mean, I, you take it for granted at the time, but it's, it really is something special. And I, I'm playing sprint football next year, but I, I don't, honestly don't know if it will amount to what high school football is and was for me. So, who I'm thankful for is mostly my, my family for supporting me 
and like ma like helping me through like tough decisions, especially like junior and senior year with like college and stuff, like where to go, what's the best fit for me. And then Mrs. Hubbard and Mrs. Poole, definitely because they helped me with my, my dyslexia and just finding the tools that I need. And all my other teachers like Mr. Collins, finding like the best schedule for me and like what fits around my swimming schedule and like what works for me, I guess, yeah. New faces, like I get to meet new people other than like from my school, like they don't know me, I don't know them and we can just bond with like swimming and like what we swim and stuff like that. And I really love that about swimming and I could just, I don't have to compete with other people, I just do it for myself. What I'm gonna miss is definitely hanging out with my school friends and like my cub, like cl uh, club swim friends and like going to the beach because there's no beach in Indiana. I mean, I'd like to thank my family for always supporting me and doing the best they can to push me through school. I'd like to thank all the teachers just generally. Specifically, I'd like to thank Mr. Mousseau for somehow making math fun and uh, Miss Johns for always challenging me to do my best work. I'll always be thankful for um, the music that I got to take place in, whether it's like jazz band or uh, worship team, and also sports with baseball and last year football, which was a great season. HHCA, I guess I'll miss kind of a small community that we have here and then in life. I miss my room, not looking forward to sharing a room. One time I locked myself in the closet to hide from Ms. Kapitsky. How did that, that work out for you? I was, it was Mr. Barry's class and um, he was gone for the day and I was dared to bang on the drums and then we did. This, don't put this on the, on the thing. But uh, we banged on the drums and we all scattered and Nick and Kevin went outside, me and Davis Lentz hid inside the band room closet, and Miss Kipitsky goes, ch -ch -ch -ch. who's in there? I was like, but we came out. Did she ever find that you were in there? Oh yeah, she found out, Miss Macworth found out, and Mr. Barry found out. <laughs> it didn't turn out that great, but. People in my whole life, uh, definitely my mom and dad, been, getting me through all this like everything that's going from college applications just to life advice just uh, working on things around the house to homework to other classes of decision making um, my sister too just my whole family really other people in for my life uh, Mr. Barry is definitely one of them I don't know if I'd be here without like jazz camp Mr. Barry that's kind of the reason I came to the Christian Academy because well my neighbors were talking about the music opportunities they have here. That's the reason I wanted to leave my old school was because I needed more ways to, yeah, kind of broaden musical horizons. Definitely people around my church, youth leaders I've had over the year. Uh, my first youth leader, Dan Griswold, got me really involved in like the scripture, got me involved with other people in my church, got me involved with helping others, and then Matt Evans, youth leader after that. Uh, Monica Barracks, she's a lady who works a lot. He, she does so many things for the church. Staying to enjoy the sea. And uh, yeah, all of them have just kind of like shaped the way I think of others, the way I think of myself as helping others, the way I think of God. I will definitely remember playing in the fall and like winter concerts, showcases, all that stuff, playing instruments with my friends. Uh, school musicals have been great, uh, getting to sing in front of an audience, act in front of an audience. And just kind of the community around school, I remember like the first year, like I was meeting them, it was meeting them, that was a big step in the first year. And then the second year was kind of just like getting to know them better in some ways, getting to connect with them one-on-one. -on -one. And then I feel like I've made some very close friends.
Yeah, definitely. Um, I'd want to thank all of the HHCA faculty that I've built amazing relationships with throughout my entire time at HHCA. Um, my teachers who have really fostered my interests and my passions for just about everything. And um, I definitely want to thank my amazing family, my sister for making <laughs> morning commutes very interesting sometimes. I definitely want to thank my dad for always looking to be just have that little fun element in everything and then definitely my mom who's been my rock and my support and will always be by my side throughout my entire life. So I really want to thank all of them. I want to remember all of the football games that I've cheered at and <laughs> cheering for four seasons. There's a lot of them. Um, just absolutely being so privileged to be a part of the family that the cheer team has fostered and built throughout the years. Um, I've really enjoyed that and I love cheering my heart out next to some of the most amazing girls I've ever met. So it's really become more of a family. That I've built with the faculty definitely because I'm not really sure going to a bigger college how I'm going to fare with that but I'm definitely going to miss the close relationships and the family that the school has fostered and it's just really great. <laughs> I'm definitely going to miss it. Thankful for my friends and my family, um, most importantly my mom, and I'm also really thankful for all of the teachers that have been a part of my life and helped push me in the right direction and always encourage me to do my best. My mom has been here for me um, throughout my entire education, but especially this year in helping me to succeed and um, she was there for me for all my auditions and applications and everything that I've ever needed her for. Um, I guess I'll remember most senior retreat this year and um, I guess spending the time with all my classmates and then going to the other retreat after with everyone else. Um, it was just really a fun experience. Uh, and I also think that I will remember my environmental class with Ms. Davis um, and everyone in it. Probably one of the best classes I've had this year. Some people I'm mainly thankful for would definitely be a lot of my family. My family, growing up in a military family, we've been through a lot of moves and different things like that. So just having them always be there for me as I grow and I evolve into the person I am today would be just the main group of people I'd like to thank, but also some people around the school like Miss Barrett, Miss Lankowski, Mr. Collins, all these people just helping me get through the senior year and making sure everything's going smoothly and taking down some harder courses all together as a group, as well as Erin Levesque, who is my intern manager. She's been one of the most influential people in my life at the moment. She has a degree in marine biology, which is what I'm shooting after, and she truly just embodies the person that I'd like to grow up and be because of how influential she is on me. I think one of the main events I'll remember is the state swim meets. They are some of the most fun times I've had here at the school. Ellie, who is just here, and her sister Addie, we have so much fun going to those along with Grace Hilton and Coach Hilton. Even one night we snuck out and went to the Waffle House and had some fun there, so we just have a blast going to those and just the different sporting events and everything, getting together as a group with all of our grade and teammates. I think one of the main things I'm going to miss here is definitely just having this small knit community and having so much opportunity here and as I go into college and I go into experiencing a whole new place and a whole new life, I'm going to miss having everyone being so close and having kind of all of these opportunities here that I took and just grasped a hold but I'm looking forward also to having a new community where I can make my mark and enter that community with just all of my ideas and everything that I can accomplish in Charleston and all the new people there as well. Um, I first of course want to thank my parents. Um, I wouldn't be here at the Christian Academy to be able to do this if it wasn't for them. They've been rock solid in my life between everything, all the sports and the traveling. and They've made a lot of sacrifices for me. And I um, would also like to thank uh, God because I wouldn't be here at all or have the opportunities that I have and have been blessed the way I have been. And 
um, just some teachers that I'm thankful for, are like Coach Conroy, Mrs. Johns, Mrs. O'Grady, Mrs. Davis, and um, Mr. Musso. <laughs> but I mean, everyone in my life between my friends and the laughs that we've had and the moments and the teammates with the pregame rituals and the bus trips and saying that it's Coach Conroy's birthday at dinners and everything. Um, I'm just really thankful for everyone who's in my life and who have been there with me through everything. Definitely going to miss basketball and volleyball both together. Um, I'm going to miss my teammates, of course. And I am I mean, just everything with being in the moment and the games and locker room and just being around them and being comfortable and being with the team that I was with for the past five years since eighth grade for basketball and playing with these girls and being around them so much. It's been a lot of fun and I will definitely miss the Kenny bus, my rides in with Coach Conroy. <laughs> um, they will never fail, I will never forget them. <laughs> and um, I will definitely miss just the environment and just, um, it's gonna be an adjustment going to school and I'm, I mean, the memories that I've made with my friends and the countless laughs that we've had and just everything between Spirit Week and retreats. And I'm gonna miss it a lot. I will always remember my eighth grade year I don't remember who we were playing, but we were playing home, and it was my first year playing varsity, and I think I made a turnover or something, and we were down, and he immediately called timeout and yelled at me on the bench and was like, you're not in middle school anymore. And <laughs> I immediately thought, I was like, but I am? <laughs> like, <laughs> but I will never forget that in the back-to-back -to -back state championships. Um, I, that is something that I will never forget and always have memories of between the long practices and yelling at us and just being like, do you smile at any point when we do anything sometimes? But um, I will always, always love basketball in the memory. Alright, I'm so grateful for the past 12 and three-fourths of a year that I've been able to spend at HHC, which makes me a lifer, and I wouldn't change that for anything. I'm so grateful for my family who has been able to send me here and support me every step of the way, and for my little brother Tegan and our daily jam sessions in the car to and from school. Along the way, I've been able to meet and get to know so many people in the HHCA family, and I am so grateful to be able to call them my friends and even my family at Specifically, Miss Higgs always being there to make me smile and laugh and sometimes even let Lexi and I skip out and go get Starbucks. <laughs> and for Mrs. Um, Joyner and her getting me to come to Young Life and always just being there and supporting me. And for Miss Wood and Miss Linkowski and all my close friends here that always just get me through the day and keep me sane here. But most importantly, I'm so thankful to the class of 2020 who have been with me some since the beginning and some since high school. And no matter when I got to know you, you have all inspired me and had an impact on me. The fact that through all this chaos, we're still here is just incredible and I'm so proud of us. I can't wait to see what God does in all of us because I know it's gonna be great. Probably the retreats every year has just been so much fun. And like every year I've been able to get closer and closer with my grade. And it's just every year has been so incredible and just a great way to start the year. So I want to thank my mom for her love and support and helping me get through high school. I want to take, thank my dad for taking me on some great vacations. I want to thank my grandma for texting me every day and always telling me she loves me and for always making me laugh. I want to thank my aunt and my cousin for their never being a dull moment. I want to thank my voice teachers, Bill and Betsy Peterson, for loving me, supporting me, and teaching me over the last seven years. Um, the thing I'm going to miss most about HHCA is their theater program and all of the wonderful shows that they did, the honors recitals, the back to school nights, all of the theater and music things. My favorite memory is playing Betty Haynes and White Christmas my senior year here at Hilton Head Christian Academy. It was such a great experience and I had so much fun doing it. I'll thank Mr. Collins first 
because he let me play Club Penguin in Minecraft in his class. <laughs> and he wouldn't get too mad at me. Um, and I thank Miss Johns because she dealt with me a lot and my loudness in her class. Um, and my parents, my stepmom, and my close friends that kept me on top of my work. Probably I would remember retreat the most um, because a few of my friends went out during the night to get cereal um, from the dining hall, um, and that was really fun. Did they actually get in and get the cereal? Yeah, we got cocoa puffs and hot chocolate. <laughs> so I will always remember that. Um, I'll miss how laid back it was because it's definitely going to get a lot more tough. Um, and I would miss my friends eating lunch outside and just having fun. <laughs>
relationships that I've made here and just being able to be so comfortable around my teachers and classmates in such a small environment. So I'll miss that going to like a bigger university at Clemson. I'm thankful for my family, my sister especially, for being there for me with every class, every teacher since kindergarten. Um, I would like to thank my mom for supporting me through all these years um, as my guidance counselor and financially and just pushing me to be the best I can be. Um, my friends for sure and the Joyner family for being there for me uh, through Young Life and through leading me in my faith. Definitely aftercare at school. I feel like that's been like a big thing in my life that has pushed me to my future career and um, making my day every day, just being with the kids and being able to hang out with them and um, meeting people just like through mentors at the school like Miss Lankowski and Miss Murphy, like people that have pushed me and been there for me through like the really hard times and good times. It showed me how much I love to be around kids and how much they made my day. Um, just like even going through like a hard day at school, like being able to go to aftercare was definitely like the highlight of my day. It always made things better, so definitely that because I'm majoring in special education. So. I feel like I'll miss the close, like tight-knit community that we have in our grade especially. I feel like our grade has always gotten along uh, where you have a very small class, so just being able to be best friends with all 30 people in my class has been really cool and something I'm definitely going to miss. Uh, first, I'd like to thank my parents uh, for constantly motivating me to do my best and enabling me to achieve everything I've achieved. Um, I'd like to thank the leaders in the scout troop for being role models and always being there to, to guide me through uh, that entire process. I'd like to thank all of the leaders and staff members I've ever had in Civil Air Patrol and the entire Low Country Composite Squadron um, for always motivating me and uh, being some of my best friends I've ever had. Uh, I'd like to thank my friends from school and scouts and CAP and wherever else I may have met them uh, for always being by my side and being supportive through everything I've done. The thing that kind of comes to mind is playing, at ch uh, playing in the worship band at uh, retreat this year. That was a really fun experience and it was unlike playing uh, anywhere else I've ever played. Uh, everyone was so close and it was, it was such a, a powerful time playing at retreat this year. I think I'm gonna miss just the familiarity of, of this place. We live on a, a pretty small island and uh, sometimes it can feel like we're trapped but it, it is familiar and it is home and moving to a place that's very different from here uh, is, is gonna be a big shock and I think I'll probably miss the people I know and the weather definitely. Well, first off, I definitely gotta thank my parents. They've always pushed me to be the best kid I could possibly be inside of school and outside of school. Uh, obviously gotta thank Coach Paduzzi and Coach Taylor um, on the field, definitely pushing me in practice to be able to prepare for the best I could be uh, on the field. I can look back at the um, halftime of the Florence Christian game and see where our team was down 21 points and see how we came back and won that game and be able to go to state championship. The memories I made from that team, it just it's one of the greatest moments of my life for sure. I'll definitely miss like having the dependence of my family and being away at college, I'll have a little bit more of like my own responsibility and being able to have like my own home cooked meals for my mom, I miss that a lot.
So some of the people I'm thankful for are everyone who's been involved in the theater program, Mr. Barry, Miss McElroy, Miss Kapitsky, basically kind of everyone in the whole faculty has been involved somehow. So I'm really thankful that they've been able to make the program what it is today, and I'm glad to be a part of that. My entire family has been really, really supportive of me in the seven years that I've been at HHCA, so I'm really glad that I have them in my life and they're really supportive. The state championship game um, this past fall because it was really emotional for all of us, but I'm really glad that I had the experience and basically being on the cheer team for four years has really taught me a lot about responsibility, accountability, and all that good stuff that I'll definitely use in college and the rest of my life. Something I'll definitely miss is the family environment that I've always failed at HHCA. Um, I didn't really think of HHCA as like a really strict school that I had to go to. I thought of it as an opportunity to really bond with a lot of the teachers and my classmates and I'll definitely miss the environment that's always been here. Something that is definitely a funny memory I have are all of the white Christmas rehearsals at Ben Jones's house because it was just a fun experience to have all of the cast together at someone's house having it be really casual but I mean it had a lot of meaning because it was going towards a really great production but there was never a dull moment. So first person I would like to thank is Mr. Harrington, for sure. He's my E10 teacher and has been my E10 teacher for the past two years. He helped me out with a lot of things at home and here and grade-wise. He was my chemistry teacher back in 10th grade. And especially over the years and since his son is one of my classmates, he and I have become closer as student teacher, so I'm very appreciative of him and the advice he's given me, especially since he's had a whole life of living and I haven't, and it's really nice to hear from someone who's lived already and someone who hasn't, so it's really great to hear from him. Another person I would like to thank is a few of my friends in my class who've stuck by me over the years. I would also, like a lot of the time, I would really like to um, thank the lifers who've been here with me since I'm a lifer as well. They have stuck through it 13 years with me too, so very thankful for them. I'm thankful for my family. My family has been there for me, obviously, throughout this whole thing, and it's very nice that I've had a full, like, little family, like, unit with me. One moment I will always, always, always remember is the championship football game of this year. I was on the varsity cheer team this past year and the year before that, but, but this past year we had a pretty big team and I was never really close with a lot of, like the whole team, but there were a few people I got close with. But that last championship football game was one I will always forget. It's one for the books because it was freezing and it was raining and everyone was just probably at their lowest. I'm pretty sure that everyone was at their lowest. It was almost so miserable that people were laughing about it. And I stood there, like in the rain, I stood there looking around. I stopped cheering for a second and I looked around and just saw the rain and the umbrellas flying everywhere and thought this is the only chance I'm going to remember that the school is united as one in the rain at the very peak of one of our sports. And I'm never gonna get this chance again. So I stood there and I took it in. And honestly, I did a little prayer and thanked God for it because not a lot of people get that chance. I'm gonna miss a few things. I'm gonna miss the island and the beaches and the marsh and the ocean because I'm gonna be moving to Columbia for USC. It's obviously more inland for sure. So I'm gonna miss the beach. I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss my family, that's a given. I'm gonna miss my family even though we all get on each other's nerves sometimes. There are gonna be little moments like family dinners or just little get togethers, watching movies. Like I'm gonna miss that for sure. I don't know, I'm gonna to have to throw it back to when I was in eighth grade in Guys and Dolls, for sure. Me and my best friend who's still currently my best friend, Sarah Ogren. 
Miss McElroy had us dress up as boys for a scene in the sewer in Guys and Dolls, and I will never forget me and her making like direct eye contact at the very edge of the stage in the V-Pack and just start laughing, even though it was just, it wasn't, we weren't supposed to be laughing, but just a little theater moment that I thought would be cool. Yeah, I got lots of people I love to thank. Um, first and foremost would of course be my mom, and that's just for too many things to even list, just for always being there for me, for being my biggest cheerleader throughout all of this on my entire life, just for basically raising me to be the person I am today. Um, there's just too many countless things to, to thank her for that. And I thank her for everything from, from, the, from being there for me all the way down to just giving me food. Like I, I'm very thankful for her. Um, obviously, I'd like to thank my dad as well for uh, helping me get through two seasons of cross country and for um, all the financial support. You know, we don't exactly talk about that much, but we do. I am very thankful for all of that, and I'm very thankful for him helping me with any car trouble I've had over the years. And, then, um, and I would also love to just thank some of the, all the teachers and staff here, but particularly Mr. Barry uh, in particular for putting, I mean, he's the whole reason why music is a big part of my life now, and just for being a, an awesome mentor and friend throughout all of my entire career here at HACA. And so very thankful for him, as well as, um, Yours truly, the man who, well, the man who answered, who asked me the question, uh, Mr. Suddeth. You've been a wonderful mentor for me as well, and a great friend. And I thank you as well for the fun, passion trip, and for all just the talks and stuff throughout the years. And yeah, and, and all of my teachers as well, Mr. Abbott as well, just for kind of just being amazing people and being also just great, more more than just teachers, but also being great uh, friends and people to learn life lessons from. Yeah, definitely, all of. Uh, as you kind of said, all the memories involving like music are definitely a very unique experience that I'll always remember. Um, especially, I think one of the funnest ones with music definitely would be that um, this uh, this would be that um, this year was the first year we got to go on the road with Pep Band and got to go to the state game. And I thought, you know, it was downpouring and stuff there, but that was just a really fun, amazing experience. That I'll, I'll definitely never forget that. But also, um, all four years I've done the pit orchestra for the for the big plays, and and every each one of those have been just an amazing, fun experience. And uh, Mr. Barry helping out with that has been uh, truly amazing. Um, everything involving music has been awesome, but also um, the retreats over the years, and again this school year having the retreat at that amazing place has made that truly unique and something that I'll definitely never forget. Well, it goes back just to all the teachers here have been, you know, I've, I've never talked to anyone else that has had quite the relationship with like the teachers here that I've had the blessing of, of having, like having teachers that would be willing to take you out to lunch has been, is something that is a unique experience here that I'll definitely miss, you know, teachers offering to uh, just kind of talk to you and do basically whatever they can to just to help you. I wish I had one that I, you could put in, because you know I'm so funny. Um, no, no, that one's kept under the rug. I'm not pulling, I'm not pulling that one up. Mm -hmm. I would have to say Spirit Week, when Mr. Smith got in the dunk tank with all of his clothes on. That was, that was quite interesting. It wasn't, it wasn't only funny, it was, it was just so memorable, and so Coach Paduzzi was, on our last practice of the year out on the field, right before the state championship, he told us um, he told us a war story from from one of his one of the, the wars that he was in. And he was talking about it was like a couple of guys on his side in his Marine Corps against like hundreds of of the people he was facing and and them just going in full force and completely capturing all of them and he was talking, I don't want to go too much into detail, but. Um, well, being friends with Stuart and Avery, there was definitely a lot of those. Uh, I don't mean as like an insult, but I definitely like, anytime you have Stuart involved in stuff, you can get some interesting interesting memories from that. You know, uh, oh, pro probably one of the strangest things. Okay, here, here's a funny memory actually, and this is about Stuart as well. And being, and being one of his best friends, I think I'm allowed to say this. We were in uh, government uh, this year one time, and we were discussing, I don't know, something about maybe someone dropping out of the presidential race, it was government. And Stuart just goes, 
almost like in the musical tune, he goes, bye, 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 like, like the NSYNC song. So then everyone starts laughing like he made that song, and then Stuart's like, what's so funny? I just said bye bye. Like, like he made a reference, and he did not know that he made a reference. And that was the funniest part. Everyone laughed because they thought he made a good reference, but he was like, I don't understand what I just did. Fifth grade, uh, in the band room trailer, uh, someone screamed, I can't remember who it was, and we realized that there was a, a giant hornet in, in the room. And so Joshua Moriarty, uh, said, everybody, stay calm, I got this, and grabbed a rubber band off the desk and just like flung it at the hornet and hit it out of the sky and killed it. And it was ridiculous. Um, I definitely hope people describe me as loyal because I love my friends, I'd do anything for them, and outgoing because I like to like meet new people and make people feel really welcomed into new atmospheres. And definitely kind. I would do anything for these people around me that have been around me for the past four years and I love them to death. I would just hope that people like remember me like as being like a happy, I don't want to say like kind. I mean, I guess I was kind, sure, yeah. Like just always like good positive energy kind of person down to earth. So I'd probably say what I want people to remember about me is just like being like a good friend and like being there for people. That's what I always strive to do is just like be there for somebody if they need help or like if somebody needs a ride, I'll take them somewhere. Just always being like a good friend. It's part of the sweetheart, kind person that she is and like always try to make people laugh and sometimes fell over her own feet, but <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> I want people to remember me as a kind and genuine person. I hope people would say that I was a nice, carefree, loving person who was fun to be around. I hope to be described as a friend, someone that you could always go to for advice or to tutor or homework help or anything. So I just really hope that I'm remembered as a good friend. As an optimistic person that worked hard in everything that she did. She was a leader, but she knew how to listen. Well, I can't control how people will remember me at HHCA, but I would hope that my time here has reflected upon my peers and me in a positive way and that I can be seen as someone who wasn't amazing at everything, but tried their best to do a little bit of everything and kind of explore everything there is to offer. I would just say something like a caring individual. Just want them to say that I was a spirited person and fun and um, just would do anything for them and uh, just have fun with them and, do, and just do crazy stuff with them. Um, to remember me being loud and obnoxious. Um, that's pretty much it. Fair enough. I, I hope that you can say that Floyd was a Christian and that he implemented that through sports and through school and through the friendships that he had. Because I think at the end of the day, you know, um, that's, you know, that's what's most important that you remember by it. It's not the accolades or the, or what people say about you. I think it's kind of, you know, that I was a Christian, that I just showed that in my everyday life. And Being a mentor to underclassmen and being able to do that through Life on Life and Young Life and just like other activities, I've been able to like mentor kids and help them throughout their experience of high school. I'd probably say that I'd want to be somebody who, who tried to better the community around him. That someone who tried to take every opportunity that he got to put my toes in the water and figure out what's right for me and what's not. And that regardless of whatever I did, I did it to the best of my ability, not only to better myself, but to better the people around me. Uh, I hope they remember me as uh, someone that was a good kid in the classroom. Definitely stayed like goofy and just kept things light. And then on the football field, I hope I'm remembered as uh, one of the greatest quarterbacks that came through the school. Like being able to be compared to guys like Luke Sergo, um, uh, Caleb Lewis and those guys, uh, Gilmore, some great quarterbacks through here. Stuff like, well, I guess like musician, is like someone that's there to talk to, someone reliable. Someone that's down to earth, I hope. I hope people will describe me in a way that he was kind of a go-getter. He tried to do 
a bunch of different things across the span of art, sports, um, just student government. So he really took a hold of a hold of all of these opportunities as well as doing things that he never thought he could do. So someone who really just reaches out and grasps the opportunities and is really outgoing and made an impact at the school. Um, I think the main thing will be that no matter what, I was always a hard worker, a leader, and I was relentlessly pursuing my dream. I hope to be described as kind and just a loving person that like everyone just was happy to be around. And like I feel like that, you know, if, if somebody has a problem, like that they that they can, you know, they can come to me. I would want to be remembered as someone that's positive and is always smiling. Who remember me for helping and the the leadership that I tried to provide. Um, I hope people remember uh, the mentorship I tried to provide for kids like John Cameron and I hope that my legacy is a good one at least. I would just say like I hope I've been like a nice guy like if you could describe like one word just be like nice friendly person. Obviously I hope you remember for being the history guy and the the one guy that just loves history and and politics and all that stuff. I obviously hope you remember that but just in general probably the most important just to be He's a nice guy. He's been, he's one of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. And so I've survived. Something that I want people to remember about me is my involvement in extracurriculars because there aren't many days that I remember having nothing to do after school. I'm usually on the field for cheer or on the stage for theater. I've never felt like I didn't have enough to do. <laughs> so I've always felt busy, which is something I want people to remember. I hope they describe me as helpful or as nice because it sounds really simple but nice can go a pretty long way in someone's life. You don't know what's going on in their backstory. You don't know what happened to them this morning, how they are with their family. You don't know if they're struggling with school or they're struggling with friends. So much as a smile can go a pretty long way so I hope that they can remember me as being pretty positive. moment in the back of my mind the time we stood with our shaking hands the crowds in stands went wild we were the kings and the queens and they read off our names the night you danced like you knew your head like a hero on a history book page 